Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Twombo and today I want to talk to you guys about Noble's High Top Trainers. I have now officially owned these and trained in these for one year, so I'm really excited to make this video. If you are interested in possibly getting these or just finding out how I think they perform, please keep watching. I originally bought these shoes when I was doing CrossFit and when I first started I was wearing Nike Free Runs and if you know what those shoes are, quite the opposite of a shoe you want for any kind of lifts. After getting some recommendations from trainers and friends, I landed on these guys. First thing I want to mention is that this is a very light shoe and it's a very minimal shoe. It does have a flat sole. And the material is stiff. It's just very, very supportive. And if you can see here, I'll step closer. It has this dotted finish. These shoes are abrasion resistant, and I'm fairly certain the purpose of these dots or this beading is what makes them abrasion resistant. As far as fit, these do fit true to size. I wear a size seven in all closed toe shoes, and these fit absolutely perfectly. And to me, they don't feel like they fit too narrow or too wide. I do have I would what I would consider a standard size foot. I, I don't have wide feet and I don't have super narrow feet, I don't think, but they fit really nicely as far as width goes. In comparison to Chuck Taylors, they don't feel as narrow as Chuck Taylors, if that's helpful. And another question I get often when people ask me about these shoes is if they restrict my movements since they're high top shoes. I don't feel any kind of restriction with any of the movements I do. They're squats, which is probably the most common concern. And with any shoe, of course, you do have the option to adjust the lacing, but even with the laces adjusted to the tightness that I prefer. I don't feel restricted in these at all. Back to this material, it is very breathable. I don't know how they do that, but my feet never feel like moist. <laughs> They never feel moist or sweaty or anything like that in here. And my shoes don't smell. Like I said, I've had these for one year exactly. I actually went and checked my email to see what time they shipped or what day that they shipped and what day that they arrived. So I've had these for exactly one year and they don't smell, my feet don't get sweaty or any of that icky stuff. As far as durability, these shoes have done so well. I'm really impressed. I mean, as you can see, I didn't even bother to wipe these shoes down. So I haven't wiped anything down this is just how they've looked and how they've always looked I've got the other one um, other shoe this literally I don't wipe them I don't clean them I go I train they're in and out my backpack and this is what they look like after a year these have held up so well they do well with your explosive movements when I was in CrossFit so all your box jumps and your burpees your shoe you know the, the toe of your shoe is constantly getting slammed around. If you look at this, there is no evidence at all of separation of any sort. I'll grab my other one just to show you. Like same here. None at all. So they hold up very, very well. Another thing as well is the tread on the shoe. So I hope I'm getting every angle possible but if you look at this they're not worn i'll try to do like one of these angles but not worn uh, whatsoever in my opinion <laughs> and i carefully looked at each shoe before i started this this beading material that i keep mentioning none of them have fallen off or been picked off or scraped off or anything like that every single bead dot whatever you want to call it 100 percent intact so i've only used these shoes indoors so most of your more common indoor surfaces i've used these on turf with sled pushes and they've been great so i haven't done any movements in like outdoor grass in the fields or in sand or anything like that so i can't speak on that but your more common indoor surfaces these do just fine. If I had anything not so good to say about this shoe, the first one, which the first one, I don't even know if I'd consider a negative thing, but the price of these shoes are $139 currently. And I say currently because I don't know if they ever change prices. But as far as I know, they are $139 and always have been. People have asked me, why not just get a pair of Chucks and save some money? Which Chuck Taylors do work very well with lifting. But I just feel like those don't hold up as well as these have so far. Or have as much support as these do. The other thing people find annoying and that I also found annoying in the beginning. Because these are high tops, you have to loosen the laces 
quite low, like almost to the very bottom because there is no give whatsoever. So you can't just like try to squeeze your foot in here and it'll like stretch. But if they were two things that I had to say I disliked, it would be those two. The price, which really at the end of the day, you are getting your money's worth. I'm only one year in and I feel like these still look brand new. So I think at the end of the day it's worth it. And then the delacing of the shoe, which is just more so an inconvenience if anything. So I've gotten a lot of compliments on these shoes, which is maybe a little tiny part of the reason why I bought them is because you can wear them casually too. I used to run errands in these quite often, not so much anymore, but you can wear these casually and wear these at the gym and they just look so sexy. And they also give me this like boxer shoe vibe, which I really, really like. I don't know if I, ever, I, don't know if I showed you the back, but that's what the back looks like as well and the inner side of it. Another thing I like about this shoe is that they come in so many different colors and patterns. If you go to their website, they have a lot of colors, a lot of solid colors, a lot of colors and the sole, is this the sole? Yeah. The sole of the shoe is a different color and they have patterns as well. They do also have different material finishes. If I remember correctly, I know they have a suede finished shoe, a leather finished, finished, a leather finished shoe. A leather finished shoe and they also of course have high tops mids and lows but high tops are my babies I'm a huge high top shoe fan these are great I mean look at them it's literally been a year since I've had these and these are the only trainers I wear too by the way every time I go to the gym so within in this past year this past year exactly I have only worn these shoes only. They've held up very well. Is it worth $139? Absolutely. I will continue to wear these until I literally can't wear them anymore. So we'll see how long that takes me. Maybe I'll do an update video in a couple years and see where we at. I'm actually very tempted to buy another pair just because they're so cute. I'd love to have these in an army green, but I simply just don't need them because these are literally in excellent shape. Last thing, I want to end on this. Another reason why I do really like this brand and this project, if you will, no bull. They have this kind of obviously no bullshit approach. If you fail, you get up and you try again and you try as hard as you can each and every time. Give it your all. So I really, really like the message, the mission, whatever you want to call it, because I am hashtag no bull. Just the horns. Love this shoe. It really, it really does say just the horns though. Can you see this? Right there? Is it focused? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just the horns. I hope this was helpful, and if you're interested in content like this, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye! Because I am no bullshit. I don't fuck around at the gym. Okay. That's it. Bye!